Okay, now a machine gun would not take a boat out, but you know, we'll take it out like that. Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Aviator's War in the Skies. We're going to be checking out the next level. We've done the first two hangar, we've done Baptism of Fire, now we're on to Vistula. Let's go ahead and click that and hop on in. We got the loading screen here. Let's see what the Polish Air Force is up to here. This country has ceased to exist. Poland is no more. The Germans have created a general government out of part of the occupied lands and incorporated the rest into the Reich. Terror reigns everywhere. The Germans persecute the Jews, forcing them to resettle in ghettos and then send transports to extermination camps. From the very first days of the war, Poles are arrested and shot. On the 27th of September, 1939, while the Polish army is still fighting, an underground military organization is established. The service for Poland's victory, which is transformed into the Union of Armed Struggle and the Home Army, the largest underground army in occupied Europe. In order to fight on, they need to be in contact with the Polish government in London. To this end, the 1,586th Special Purpose Squadron is created in 1943 carrying couriers and essential supplies. It's an express line to hell. As the planes make their way over German-occupied Europe, flying at the limits of their capabilities, running on fumes. 1943 becomes a watershed year. The Allies land in Italy. On the Eastern Front, the Germans suffer defeat at Kursk. A year later, the Allies land in Normandy. The days of the Third Reich seem numbered. Meanwhile, another threat arrives from the East, Hitler's recent ally, Soviet Russia. Its armies defeat the Third Reich and advance, occupying Polish lands. They establish political control over them and usher in a new terror. In response, the leaders of the Polish state introduce Plan Tempest, a demonstration of Polish presence in the liberated areas. Home army units are to reveal themselves and cooperate with the Soviets. Stalin, however, does not intend to share his power. Operation Tempest does not include big cities. At the last moment, Warsaw is included, where an uprising is being prepared. The Germans can thwart these plans with a single decree, forcing the Varsovians to build fortifications. It is clear to the Home Army that this will decimate the Polish forces in Warsaw. It's necessary to act. It's now or never. The dramatic decision is made on the 1st of August. The uprising in Warsaw breaks out. The insurgents manage to capture the city center the main post office, the postal station, the power station, the arsenal. However, the Germans defend themselves fanatically. They send new troops to Warsaw. The insurgents keep on fighting. They look to the sky, but the only planes over their heads are Stukas carrying death. Meanwhile, Polish pilots stationed in Italy learn from the radio about the outbreak of the uprising. Their commander has only eight operational airplanes. It's not until the 4th of August that the pilots receive permission to airdrop aid for the home army, but in completely different parts of Poland. The pilots decide to break through to Warsaw on their own. Will they make it in time before the SS troops, which are ready to crush the uprising? On the 15th of August, our crew is ready. The objective? Warsaw in the Campinos Forest. The route and takeoff time are decided for us. We have to be over the target between midnight and 2 a.m. to avoid interception by German fighters over Hungary. The sun rises at 4.20 a.m. May we live to see that sunrise. All right, here we go. The aircraft defense, they've got us. Let's see, Attention. we got our on the some sort of machine That's gun here. Anti-aircraft guns on the right. Target their searchlights. Okay, Attention. let's light up the searchlights. Okay, I got that one. Got that one. 
All right, got one over here. I can't quite get the death blade. One more down. More searchlights here. We're knocking these out the best we can. All right, ripping through these guys. Wow, we're catching a lot of flack here. All right, get this one. All right, taking these guys out. Very nice. Got one more up here. We got a car on the road. I think we hit that car. That truck would really take care of it. Okay, we're getting hit more from the north. Ooh, we're getting a lot of aircraft here. And aircraft fire here. Whoa. Why are we fucking right over top of them? I guess I can't hit that light. All right, let's start aiming this way. Got that guy there. Very nice. Okay, what an intro. What do you guys think so far here in Aviators More in the Skies? Leave me a comment on down below on the craziness that's uh, ensuing here. One more down there. Sounds like our plane's One taking some back. flack. Another truck or something here. We'll knock that out. Okay, more lights over here. Check this out. Boom. Look out that searchlight. Something they up there. Still can't quite it. It's done. Going down to the Fistula River. It can be hot. Got it. Okay. Here's the river. What was that? Alright. We're popping out of our gun. Destroy enemy boats. Where are the boats at? There's another one. Okay. Come on. Turn just a little bit more. Got that boat there. One more just come on. Come on. Almost there. Light him up. Okay, got that guy. He's way over there. I can't quite hit it. Um, oh, it's a shore battery. Oh, we're reloading. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Alright, one more. Turn down. Alright, we got that guy there. Looks like we got one up here. Yep. Yeah, here. Not doing so well with the aiming here. Okay, we got that guy. Very nice. Let's reload here where we got a second. Alright, reload. I think we got one to our front center there. There he is. Okay, got Nailed that boat him. Down. Nice. Okay, this is pretty fun. I like that intro. That was a good introduction scene there. Uh, we got some guy. I see some wash up there. There he is. Yeah. Two more. Two boats. Okay. Three boats. Reloading. Didn't hit a single one. Come on. Come on. Alright. He's going down. No, I'm trying to hit these guys. Okay, that guy's out of my thing. Yeah, we gotta reload. Come on. Ooh, we're getting lit up by all these big boats. Let's see if we can sink this one here. Okay, and then can't quite hit that little one. We'll reload again here. Um, we're taking some shots. That's good. Alright. Alright, we got searchlight over there. We took that searchlight out. Okay, what are we rocking the side door gunner here? I'm assuming we're gonna be like raking the shores for AA or something there. like that. I recognize it. Must be ours. It's the elusive. elusive okay, now a machine gun would not take a boat out, but you know, arrested. we'll take it out like that. Very nice. And then looks like we got something over here on the shore battery. I don't know what it is, but we hit it. Got one more coming up here. Some fire there. Okay, that's a watchtower. That I can see. Okay, we lit up the watchtower. I'm assuming we've got another boat coming in here. Lighting us up. Very unfairly. Seems like I can't even hit it yet. Alright, that one's sinking. Into the drink well, with ya. We bought ourselves a bit of peace. Okay, we'll reload here while we got some peace and quiet. Ah, okay, back to the front gunner. The head Destroy train. Look, oh, I can't wait to shoot a train. Biodek, you got a chance. A train. Just don't wait the ammunition. Easy. I won't waste it. Okay, we hit. Oh, there we go. We got one. Two. Okay, reload, and we'll get the third one here. Taking some shots. That's okay. And third one goes down. Oh, we that's got a sweet. Up ahead. Is that oh, a <laughs> The capital is on fire. The damn Germans set it ablaze. God, our people are there. In that hell for the second week now. Maybe those kraut cockroaches all go to hell. All right, well, that was a pretty cool level. 
Uh, thank you for coming out and watching this video here on Tooth and Scrubs Gaming as we do war Warsaw here. Let's uh, let's pause for a second. Uh, like I was saying, thank you so much for coming out and watching that episode of Aviator War in the Skies. Uh, that was pretty cool. A lot of combat, a lot of action there. Let me know in the comments on down below what you think of the game so far. Certainly a, a very good history of Poland in World War II, specifically the Air Force. If you've enjoyed the content, don't forget to like it and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in orderly fashion. We'll see you in the next video.